Hey, what is going on, guys? In this video today, we're going to be discussing a new weapon combination in Fortnite that's become somewhat popular over the past few days, and whether it is or isn't as good as some people are claiming. The combination I'm referring to is a shotgun combined with the brand new purple slash gold revolver that was actually added to Fortnite in last week's update. I made a video just like this back in Season 7, where I talked about how the pump shotgun deagle combination was really similar to the old double pump if you had really good aim, and especially if you were a controller player. Sadly, the deagle received a very major nerf towards the end of that season, which made it a much less usable weapon, and no longer viable to pair with a shotgun. So I think that some people are seeing the similarities between this new revolver and what the Deagle used to be, and hoping that it could kinda take its place. And we're gonna discuss whether or not that's the case, as well as how the shotgun and revolver combination compares to the more traditional shotgun SMG combinations. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the new purple and gold revolvers were definitely overshadowed by the pump getting unvaulted, so let's do a quick overview of the weapon since a lot of people may not know a ton about it. So first off, here's the basic stats. The purple revolver does 63 base damage per shot, the gold revolver does 66 base damage per shot, and both rarities have a 2.0 headshot multiplier. So the max potential damage in a single shot is 126 for the purple revolver and 132 for the gold revolver. Both rarities have a fire rate of 1 shot every 0.66 seconds, a magazine size of 6 shots, and a reload time of just under 2 seconds. So as I mentioned in the intro, the most obvious comparison to these new revolvers is the Deagle. The first important characteristic that the Revolver and the Deagle share is that they're the best type of weapon in all of Fortnite for abusing aim assist with. Since they're both single shot weapons that instantly give first shot accuracy when you aim down sights, you can take advantage of a mechanic that many controller players refer to as snapshotting. That's when you aim down sights, which will pull your crosshair onto your enemy, and then as soon as you see the crosshair indicator for first shot accuracy pop up, you shoot. And I'll be sure to include some footage showcasing me doing that in creative mode in the background. The reason why snapshotting works best with a single shot weapon is because due to their slower rate of fire compared to fully auto weapons, you can use the snapshotting technique for every single shot you take as long as you aren't being pressured. Much like the Deagle, the Revolver is one of the very few weapons in Fortnite that's actually more powerful in the hands of a good controller player than it is in the hands of a good mouse and keyboard player. Another similarity to the Deagle is the fact that the Revolver offers solid burst damage at close, medium, and even longer range. And that's a big reason why the weapon works best as sort of a secondary to your shotgun. If you guys watch a lot of my videos, you've probably heard me say this a million times already, but burst damage is so incredibly important in Fortnite. Being able to pop unsuspecting enemies for 60 plus damage in a single body shot before they have any chance to react is such a game changing thing. And that number could even be 130 plus damage if you're able to successfully line up a headshot. Being able to do that type of damage at medium range makes this weapon an absolutely perfect fit for players that like to third party fights. However, like the vast majority of weapons in Fortnite, the Revolver does have damage drop-off. I tried to showcase a bit of that in the footage I showed earlier, but in case you weren't paying attention, it appears that the Revolver deals its max damage anywhere within about 20 to 25 meters, and then it starts to gradually drop off after that. The Deagle does do roughly 10 more damage per shot than the Revolver, but due to the Revolver's considerably faster fire rate, it'll be a much better complement to a shotgun in close range fights. 
I'll actually show you guys a really funny short clip right now of Cypher PK experiencing how powerful the pump revolver combo is firsthand. What? You gotta be kidding me, dude! Oh my god! So now we get into the main question that a lot of people are wondering. How does the shotgun-revolver combination compare to the more traditional shotgun-SMG combination? It's a bit of a difficult question to answer since there's four different SMGs in Fortnite, but I'll try my best. So the biggest advantage that the revolver is going to have over the majority of SMGs is in any fight more than about 15 to 20 meters away. When you use the typical inventory of AR, shotgun, SMG, those 15 to 25 meter fights are actually really awkward to navigate. It feels too close range to use an AR, which will limit your mobility, but it's definitely way too far for your shotgun, yes, even the combat shotgun, and it's probably also too far for your SMG, since at that point with damage drop-off, it's going to be doing somewhere between 10 and 15 damage per shot. However, at that same awkward range, the revolver is going to do either its max or very near its max damage, so still 60 plus for a body shot, and potentially even 120 plus with a headshot. Plus, as I just mentioned earlier, even though the SMG is probably a better option to complement the shotgun in very close range fights because of its spray ability, the revolver fires fast enough to where it can at the very least hold its own, especially if you have good aim. And I know this may not be a factor of consideration for the players that only care about what gives them the best chance to get kills and win games, but another thing I really like about the shotgun-revolver combo is that it's incredibly fun to use. I loved Double Pump, I loved Pump Tack, I loved Pump Deagle, but Pump SMG just always felt less rewarding and fun to use for me, and I know a lot of people agree with that as well. So I guess since Shotgun Revolver is obviously much more similar to Double Shotgun and Shotgun Deagle than it is to Shotgun SMG, that's a big reason why some people seem to like it so much. However, it wouldn't be fair for me to only talk about the positives of the Shotgun Revolver combo, because there are some pretty big negatives as well. The biggest one, hands down, is that the shotgun-revolver combo really offers you no structure-destroying potential. Shotgun SMG is perfect for those fights where you hit a high-damage shotgun shot to make your enemy very weak, then when he builds to protect himself, you just spray down the structure with your SMG until you sneak in the one or two shots required to finish the kill. You simply don't have the ability to do that with Shotgun Revolver, since the revolver takes three shots to break a full health wood wall, and then two shots to break a newly built wood wall. And just to reference the old Shotgun Deagle combo again, its ability to one-shot even fully built wood walls was absolutely one of the main factors that made it so dominant, and the revolver simply can't compare to that. So here's kind of my final verdict on the shotgun-revolver combo, and whether or not I would recommend it over shotgun SMG. First off, I want to say that it's considerably better than the current shotgun-deagle combo, but also definitely worse than the old shotgun-deagle combo. I also think it's better than the current shotgun-drum-gun combo, since that weapon is just awful right now, plain and simple. But in any kind of a competitive game that I'm taking very seriously, I'm going to choose the Suppressed SMG, Burst SMG, or Tac AR over the Revolver to complement my shotgun. Although the Revolver is definitely a viable option and can hold its own even at close range, I just feel slightly more comfortable with the spray ability of the SMGs in Fortnite. But as I mentioned earlier, I think the fun factor here absolutely has to be taken into account. If I'm just messing around with my friends, trying to have a good time, and not playing like it's the World Cup Finals, I definitely prefer to be using Shotgun Revolver. 
At the end of the day, Fortnite is a video game mainly designed to provide a fun experience. So even though my channel is all about getting better, more kills, and more wins, I also realize that having fun is a major factor for the vast majority of players. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watched the entire thing, be sure to let me know with a comment down in the comment section below. I want to know, have you guys tried the shotgun revolver combination yet in Fortnite? And if so, did you enjoy it, and how do you think it compared to the more traditional shotgun SMG? Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do whatever the heck you want, and I will catch you guys next time.